Hey guys, Road Warrior back here. I recently took uh, third place here, put up a nice score in the Bass Speed Hunt. I want to kind of walk you through. There's some great rewards, and I ended up getting the uh, something I didn't have, even the uh, X Series Rib Shad. I did uh, put up again a great score. This is a lot different of a comp than Blue Crab's Mighty Three there. So what you kind of want to do is normally start in this canal. I'm going to show you the marks that I kind of run normally. Uh, hit that first spot, come down here through the canal and uh just go through but i'm putting these marks up uh in the event that you didn't have them already and as well as this spot right here actually overlaps with the other corner spot but uh, you can pick up a bass right there where that buffalo mark is this regular large mouth but in other words if you catch that from the corner in that corner these spots overlap moving on here same thing these two little spots overlap but you can fish either one of them and then you can also come down here in this canal to your lower left as well uh, and get a few out of this area and then again here in the flats but uh this for strategic purposes it's you know it's only a half hour it's not mighty three you're not wanting to get down in these flats just because uh, it takes more time to go from one spot to the next but those are plenty of marks for you guys if you ended up needing them and it's kind of going on here as far as the setups one key thing i think here would be to try and i've experimented with a lot of this stuff i would say the buzz bait uh the 4.0 uh, X series if you don't have that the leprechaun buzz bait 40 and if you don't have that even an acid buzz bait uh, 40 or any of the buzz bait but uh, definitely figure out the pairing on your own uh, if, if the uh, actual uh, glow crawl is not working as well as make sure that you're paying attention to that barometer a lot of times it'll show you again in these particular situation where the bass may be you know in that midwater or in that uh, just that real fine area uh, between the midwater and the upper surface so it's kind of keeping it close there towards the top uh, you know if you see low pressure they might be down closer to right at midwater for the most part but kind of do try those things out again strategy wise i think the 4.0 is better uh buzz bait now you could try to use maybe a 4.0 swim bait that that sort of thing but you don't really want a big hook uh like a 5060 and here's why i say that is because you're not just wanting to target the unis and the trophies you're wanting to actually go through here and, and, you know, nickel and dime, so to speak, and then eventually, uh, you know, score by commons even. So you're not only just wanting to get the unique, and that's kind of up to you, but if you can get the unique and trophy from each spot, that does help. But if you do get the uh, the trophy out uh, and the unique, I wouldn't move off really, really fast. Make sure that, you're you know, you're going through here and you're cycling through, uh, even getting all these smalls, because you can see what will happen here is, bit by bit falling along these are a lot of just little small fish but you know all these are adding up four pounder six pounder uh another six pounder again you want to work that out and then ideally like i said you wouldn't want to just get just the unique move on like you would on mighty three because you're not looking for your three biggest fish you're looking as many points as you can get in that 30 minute time frame now again moving on to this spot over here again i'm just trying to just fish it out again staying in that that surface also you, you'll note a lot of times in competitions if a twitch isn't working go to stop and go or vice versa for, for whatever reason if one of them's not working try the other one that does seem to help uh, in this event right here sky twitch was working better uh, than stop and go now another <laughs> key tip or not really a tip just a key point is uh, we do have a lot of flying fish issues in the game right now that will break you on this one as well uh, also, you know, you're going to get both in from time to time, that sort of thing. But as you can see here, this kind of staying at that midwater or in between the midwater and the surface uh, was the spot to be on this particular peak. Now, moving on here, you'll notice uh, what happens is uh, I get the unique right off the bat. Uh, so, you know, you wouldn't want to rotate out in this situation. You want to go right back. You know, I come right back, cast it again. Again, falling along here just because you got the, the biggest fish that you're going for out of the area. Uh, you'd be leaving a lot of points behind if you didn't go ahead and, you know, at least try to get the trophy and a common or two behind it. Uh, again, before moving on, I'm just kind of illustrating that. So I got the unique. And then in that situation, you start getting both in like there. Hop in your boat and get out of there. That's a good sign, too, because there's the odds are if you get one both in, since I've already got the unique and the trophy out of there, and, and I don't want to sit there and try to farm there because those both in will eat up your clock and something. It is the bass speed hunt, after all. Again, you can kind of just illustrate in this here. Uh, even if you're getting for the butterfly, there's nothing wrong at all uh, with the butterfly and the speckled. So if you can find in these blended spots uh, where you even got, you know, the shoal, the largemouth, 
uh, any of those dual spawn points where there's multiple bass species there that is definitely a great place to go there's multiple spots here on the map that you can find that but again go out for yourself and experiment uh, and some of these spots see what spots that you like do fish them out for a while and just kind of figure out what to, uh, what characteristics they have and i know this seems like a really in-depth thing but again uh, this is a night and day difference i put this up on my channel as a comp play along when this first came out and then when i approached it in that uh, i definitely uh should have changed my strategy and now that uh, i've had some really good runs in this uh, as well but this is a definitely one of the comps i do recommend on fishing plan anybody that loves bass fishing in general especially with lures it's definitely a competition for you. It's a lot of fun. It's also one that I would recommend that you practice with your, you know, your friends or your club mates. Go off in a, in a template, practice this. You guys will have a lot of fun with this one. And also experiment with with um, lures on your own. But as you can see here, I had some pretty good RNG as I'm waiting for the arbitrary timer. Also, be careful not to uh, rip that around here and there. Every once in a while, they will get off on low tension. Here's me just kind of coming down towards the end clock management wise too. I've had really good run in this before twice and just trying to stretch it and didn't make it to the finish line so make sure that you, you know you're having that awareness i probably could have went for maybe one more cast here as you can see the time is running down there with 56 minute 56 seconds rather uh there was another time i went over 300 points uh, i think two times and uh tried to stretch it out this particular situation to spawn away from the uh your boat then go right back to your boat it only probably take five six seconds depending on how fast your boat is and another key tip here that I didn't know at first was whenever we had these finish lines, make sure that you do know that once you get inside the circle, uh, you just got to be there before the clock hits zero, basically. Uh, and, you know, it's in other words, if you don't leave within, I did waste about 20 seconds there. I might have been able to catch one more fish, but I didn't want to stretch it out. Take care, guys.